Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, let's take a look into many-to-many -many mapping. Well, in our e-commerce project, we'll take user and role entities to perform many-to-many -many mapping. For instance, user has many roles and role can be assigned to multiple users. For instance, user can have many roles. For example, user can have admin role, user can have customer role, user can have user role, user can have sales representative role, user can have manager role. All right. So user has many roles and many roles can be assigned to a user. So this is how the many to many mapping looks like. Well, in case of many to many mapping, we have to, you know, keep track of the relationship between these two entities. For instance, we need to keep track of which user has which role and vice versa. That's where we need to use a third table called join table to maintain the relationship between these two tables. Now look at here the ER diagram. So this is ER diagram for many to many mapping. Well, in case of many to many mapping, a third table will be created and this third table is called a join table and it contains the foreign key for each table. For example, consider we have users table and roles table and the primary key of users table that is ID. This ID becomes a foreign key in users underscore roles table and the primary key ID of roles table becomes a foreign key in a users underscore roles table. Well, look at here users underscore roles. So this is basically a join table. It contains two foreign keys user underscore ID and role underscore ID user underscore ID is a foreign key to the users table role underscore ID is the foreign key to the roles table. All right. So this is how the many to many mapping looks like with respect to the database level. Okay. Just remember in case of many to many relationship, a third table will be created to keep track of the relationship between these two tables. Okay. Basically this third table is called join table and it contains the foreign key for each table. Okay, if you can see users under roles is a joint table and it contains the foreign keys with respect to these tables. All right, great. Now let's take a look into what are the JP annotations that we can use to implement many to many mapping. Well, we can use add many to many JP annotation to link source entity with the target entity. A many to many association always uses an intermediate joint table to store the mapping that joins two entities and the join table is defined using at join table JPA annotations. Well, basically we are going to use menu to many and at join table JPA annotation to implement menu to many mapping. We'll see in a code how we can use these two annotations to implement menu to many mapping. Well, menu to many mapping can be either unidirectional or bidirectional. In case of many to many unidirectional mapping, we use add many to many annotation on owning or source entity. In case of many to many bidirectional mapping, we use add many to many annotation on both entities, source and target entities. All right. In next lecture, we'll start implementing many to many unidirectional mapping. All right. I will see you in next lecture.